or maybe not in Times Square in New York City on April 30th. channel so today I bring you my March favorites first and foremost I want to welcome you guys back and thank you guys so much for 900,000 subscribers I think I'm at like 950 we're like so close to 1 million and as you can see I am here back in Orlando don't you like the setup I miss I haven't filmed here as much because I did my beauty room you guys can check out my beauty room tour of how I decorated this place but in the month of March I have been all over the place so I did a shoot with benefit cosmetics in San Francisco and then I went to New York for the Allegiant premiere with my brother Peter and then while we were there we worked with bite beauty in their uh, beauty bite lip lab where we created our own lipsticks like personal customized so if you're interested in bite beauty check it out that is definitely one of my favorites of the month is the bite beauty lab you get to make your own lipstick in seven minutes so it is completely amazing oh my god also at the premiere we got to see some of the stars up and close manny peter myself and manny's brother so me and manny and our brothers went to the allegiant premiere and saw the stars of the movie and then we got to walk the red carpet and then we got to go to the actual movie it was so 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 cool and i'm so excited that i got to do that but now i am here back in orlando and i actually leave to la tomorrow and it is so exciting all right let's get into the favorites my first favorite of the month is my Live Glam certification course. It is a makeup certification course where you guys have access to hours of content that I teach to you on a model, light skin, medium tone, and dark skin on how to apply makeup on another person. I have been incorporating more so third party applications on clients on my channel as you guys saw with Karma Carrera, but it has literally hours of content and you guys do get a makeup box with my favorite goodies and of makeup. So I have some students here that I wanted to congratulate on uh, passing their certification. First I have Shaylin Whitney, and then I have Riri MUA, and then I have Contour by Me, Native Beauty Makeup, Alejandra Sofia, uh, Rocio GX3, Official Kim K. Smith, and a bunch more. I love you guys so much and I wish you the best of luck in your makeup journey. So my next favorite is going to be this bag. It is kind of this bag has been through it, but this is my Marc Jacobs bag. I got this from the Marc Jacobs event. They had a Velvet Noir event presenting their, their mascara, but they gifted us these bags, beautiful. I just like a good, sturdy bag. I'm, you know, if it's designer, it's whatever, but this happens to be from Marc Jacobs and I loved it. Girl, I will go to Forever 21, I will go to Rue 21, I will go to ASOS, I will go anywhere to find a good bag, but this bag has been with me because it is like a good quality leather and it is wide on the bottom. So it's thick on the bottom and thin at the top, kind of like me. I love this because it fits everything and I love bags with a long strap as well and something that I can fit my stuff in because I have my turbans, I have cameras, I have tripod sticks, Peter's in here too. But I just love me a good bag and this one is by Marc Jacobs. I think they call this kind of style like a Dr. Duffel bag. See how, how wide it is on the bottom and it has gold detailing and I was obsessed with silver. Silver is kind of like a more contemporary modern accent color but once I have never picked gold so once this was like uh, given to us by Marc Jacobs I was like oh my god I kind of like gold because gold is really classic at first I thought gold was kind of grandma because my mom loves gold but not that my mom is a grandma but it's just like a more mature color um, accent but I do love this gold because gold is like really a classic and I can hold it like this I can hold it like a Babs I call it Babs like boss ass bitch Babs I can hold it like this when I'm walking or I can hold it simply with a long strap and I love it and it's so so good and this one is by Mark Jacobs oh and we actually met him and I'm so excited I got to meet him Manny and I took a picture so so cool okay now onto the skincare like I posted this on snapchat the other day and I noticed that 
my, I actually got a facial at Ulta, by the way. I just wanted a facial in Orlando. I, I don't know a good facialist, so I was like, let me go to Ultra, uh, Ultra. Let me go to Ulta and look, and lo and behold, like, by the hair services and the Benefit Brow Bar, they also have a Dermalogica, like, facial spa service there so i tried it and it was great but then i noticed once my face like the next day my face extracted like more pores they didn't really pull them out because i just don't want to like hurt my nose but these ones are by biore it literally ripped out like little poop on my nose like that's what it looked like to me it looked like it just like shoveled off i have been getting so many questions on twitter and on snapchat and like which ones did you use so i use the eight deep cleansing pore strips with the nose but anything by biore whether it be the strips or the ones for the forehead are really good just make sure to peel it really really slowly so you can um extract all the whiteheads and blackheads that you don't want on your nose but this is what i've been loving i'm gonna do it like once a week and this reminds me of princess diaries like when she like do you remember that movie where she like ripped it out and um it was just such a funny funny part and i love these so check out biore so I'm talking about cleaning the face, I did go and repurchase this Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover. In my last favorites, I mentioned the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm, which is non-comedogenic, so it doesn't clog your pores. So I love the Clinique line. My skin has been looking amazing. It's been feeling amazing. And I really love this Take the Day Off Eye Remover with the, eye, with the, um, the balm. But this is really, really good. For my eye makeup, I know I've been wearing lashes, liner, lots of eye makeup, but I just want something really, really gentle without tugging. Because before, I used to just tug in my eye, and then the next day, if I were to have a meeting really, really early, my eye would still be recovering from the night before from me scrubbing. So I would use this, like how I used to take the day off balm. The take the day off balm, I rub it, the balm, put it on my face, and wipe it with a makeup wipe. I use it the same exact way. This is amazing. Like, it takes off everything like if i even don't have the take the day off i'll use it for my entire face but this is really meant for the eyes and the lips but i'll use this the same way either with a cotton pad or with a makeup wipe i'll just pour it and then i'll just simply like rub rub off all my eye makeup and this is amazing this is by clinique i feel it is just as important to invest in makeup removers as well as makeup because you spend so much money putting it on you want to invest in a good cleanser that really cleans out all the makeup to take all that expensive makeup off so your skin can be beautiful and you'll have a beautiful canvas the next day so i love this okay speaking of the eyes my next favorite would be these two lashes they're from different brands i love this new bounce and one this is one pair this is beautiful and then this one is Mykonos. This one is by Lily Lashes. I forgot to mention mention this one. This one is Russian Black. It is so flirty. It like has crisscrosses. It's really, really wispy. And it's one pair. Usually I'll stack mine. But I love how soft. And the band is super flexible on this. And this one is by New. New Bouncem. And then this one is very wispy. Manny loves these two. These are called Mykonos. My friend Arika Sato loves these two. She wears them all the time they're very wispy they're very flirty and fabulous and i love lily galici should i do another collab with her i think i should because i freaking love her she's amazing she's an awesome businesswoman and i just love her and again lily lashes in the style mykonos and new balance in the style russian black and you can use the discount code pstar to get discount off if you want to use these on your special day whether it be a wedding a night out or a birthday all right, you guys, I decided to bring you guys a little bit closer because you guys fell so far away from me. I wanted to bring you guys closer. So now that we're closer, I can show you my next favorite. My favorite would be brushes. I, it's been a while since I've spoke about brushes, and I have three here that are my absolute go-to that I have to use every time I do makeup. These are pretty much not favorites, but essentials for me. This is the Morphe E42. This is a big uh, flat. It's flat right here, but it's fluffy. It's not flat. It's just pinch at the barrel so it disperses into a fluffy effect i love these brushes because uh these two i believe are from if not all of them are from the elite collection from morphe this is the e42 and i use this for bronzing i'll use this in my hula or in my mark jacobs tantric bronzer depending on my mood whatever i see first i love those bronzers but um this is great for contouring the face right here i like to keep this angle here and it's not too tapered so the brush the bristles start right here so i'm able to get a really sharp you see that you see that i get a sharp 
contour and bronze effects and I love this to just cut and I'll use this to sculpt my double chin and I'll use this to um, bronze my forehead. I love this brush so much. You guys should check it out. This is the E42 and I feel like another investment is investing in great brushes. These are not MAC. These are Morphe. Number one, they're more affordable and they're just as good. So this is the E42. Next, I love the E26. I think this brush is just so freaking cute. I love it because it's cute and it's efficient. Um, I like using the E26. This is what it's called, E26, because it has, they're both flat, um, flat foundation concealer brushes. This is like a double in one. And I like to use this to apply my concealer, my favorite concealer, which I'll talk about in a second, but I'll use this to apply. And I feel like it's not too big, not too small. It's I feel like it's a little bit shorter than the traditional paddle brush, but I love this because it's really, really cute. And then sometimes if I want to get like right to the inner corner, I will use this in case my eyes tear up. This is like a great fixer upper brush. That's why I like this. And this is the E26 by Morphe. Next, to set my concealer, not to set because I use a puff to just cook and bake but to apply a highlight powder I have been obsessed with the E49 it looks like I don't know it looks like a cute like little bunny tail to me it's so cute because it's pinched right here so I'm able to disperse a lot of product after applying it picks up a lot of product it's very tapered on the end and I just love it this is the E49 I'm so bad with saying names I just I don't really look at the name, but I just look at the type of brush, but I love this E49 brush. I'll use this with my Charlotte Tilbury right here. You can see it really has a perfect shape, especially when I'm like going like to touch my nose. It doesn't like obstruct the view on like a big brush. If I were to use this right here, it would like take over my nose, but I like a brush that will hit right by the nose bridge. You see that's like perfect and it'll get right under the eyes. And this is an awesome brush. This is the E49. This is the E42, and this is the E26. So they're all from the Elite Collection by Morphe. And if you want to save money, use the discount code PSTAR. If you are on any website online and you think that I have had them and they do have a code, try PSTAR because most likely it will work because I love makeup. You know what's funny? Someone the other day was like, um, you know, I'm a makeup artist, right? So I do makeup for a living. So someone was like, oh, so are you like, it was like an older gentleman too. He was trying to be funny. He was like, so are you a makeup slut? And I was like, I am a makeup whore because whores get paid. And he was like, oh, I like that one. And I was like, yeah, don't be rude. So he was like, you're a makeup whore. And I was like, okay, that's enough. But that was just a funny story. So yeah, for all my makeup whores out there, get your money. So next, I love this mascara. I am wearing it today, not on the top, but on the bottom. This is the Clinique Bottom Mascara. You know what's funny about this packaging? If you have this or own this, or if you do decide to get it after this video, it is so funny because I always reach for this as lash glue because it is the exact same size as my Ardell lash glue or my Revlon lash glue, any of them. It just looks literally, I'm like, what lash glue is that? But it is the finest, tiniest, can you guys see this? Look how tiny this brush is. And it is able to get each and every single lash. And I have a problem getting the inner corners right here and also the outer corners on the very, very end because they're super stubborn. And this mascara does the job. It is black. They also have one for my blondies out there if you do want a brown mascara. But this is the Clinique Bottom Mascara. This is really meant for the bottom. And I love it because it can get in the hard to reach areas like out here. I bought this when I was in... I believe San Francisco. Yeah, I bought it in San Francisco. I was literally looking for a bottom mascara because my extended play by MAC ran out. And that brush is really fine, but it's very long. So I really can't get out here without like touching my nose or touching my under eye area, which I have worked so hard to, to conceal and to bake. So after you work so hard on concealing, you don't want to like mess it up or anything. You know what I mean? Is that all? I have one more thing. Yeah, so this is my last favorite of the month besides you guys. This is the Boing Concealer. I use this in my Get Ready With Me in Hawaii. And I use the Hide and Sheen, which is like a two-part concealer. But this one is the actual full-size concealer. And this is a very full coverage concealer. As you can see, it's a very neutral tone. It's not too yellow, not too pink. It's like somewhat in the middle. But it has kind of like a peach 
glow like a little like a, not too peach not too warm not too cool it's like just right but this is the boing and it does say on the back of the packaging industrial strength concealer anti cern professionnel corrector de ojeras ultra potente corrector de ojeras super poderoso poderoso super poderoso it is three grams while I'm here. It's three grams and it's in the shade number two. I love this concealer so much. I have been wearing it. Um, I have been using like liquid concealers like the NARS and the Urban Decay and then the Makeup Forever. And I'm such like a cake makeup lover that I miss like my industrial strength concealer. So once I saw the claim on the back, I was like, I have to give Benefit a chance because I am just used to using their mascaras and their face powders um, and some of their brow, their brow things, but none of their face things. I used to use their Hello Flawless foundation powder, but concealer, boy, oh boy, this concealer is heavy duty and it covers a lot. And I love this so much. So with that being said, that is all my favorites for the month of March. It is. It was also Peter's birthday. Do you want to say hello? Hello, friends. Do you want to come on here? It's okay. Follow me. <laughs> Come say hi. So this is Peter. Peter has been on the trips with me. If you guys didn't know how I get the drone shots, this is him. I am too scared to fly the drone. Like, I do not want to crash it. I don't want to do anything. But this is Peter. Peter turned 27. Happy 27. birthday. <laughs> this is my older brother. We have been getting I so confused. 27. We have been getting so I'm confused. <laughs> people asked if we were twins at TSA. We were not. We're not, we're not close. Do we look alike or no? No. <laughs> Smile, normal, so that they can see. Don't make your face different. <laughs> ding, ding, ding! Oh we love your twins. Thank you, Peter. So those are my favorites for the month. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys so much. I am gonna miss Orlando. By the way, I am traveling back to LA to Spain with NYX Cosmetics and then to New York for something very, very fun. What are we doing in New York? Oh, my, my meet and greet. Yeah. Oh my god. Are you going to say it or are you not going to say it? You can't say it yet? I think I can. Can you say that? I'll be in New York for a secret meetup. <laughs> I have a meetup in New York with my best friend on April 30. Maybe or maybe not in Times Square in New York City on April 30. Shh. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I love you guys so much. This year is going by super super fast. Thank you guys for 900,000 subscribers. We are so close to 1 million. I love you guys so much. You guys are my favorite. Don't forget to